back and yes, went a bit over the top, couldn't stop tweaking things and it's basically what happens. Uh, what we're going to try and do next, this is what made my computer crash before, which is why I never to save, was to create teeth. So this is the fun bit. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select, wait, I'm going to all these selected and I'm going to hit new layer and I'm going to call this one um, model <laughs> and just hide it and the eye because we don't need them at the moment and I don't want them getting in the way and we're just gonna put it all on render. The guys can stay. So very quickly at teeth we're going to get the Polygon pipe, unusual one we haven't used yet. And using the grid, I'm just going to make sure I'm in the center and just click using my. Actually, no, I don't need to hold shift. I'm just going to try and get it to fit about there. Just so it covers that section. Just pull up just a smidge. These are going to be our gums. The gums. And most importantly, this is a really neat trick, but only if it's done right. So I'm going to select this model and make absolutely sure it is dead center. Could maybe move it up by Y, but nah, don't need to. It's absolutely fine. So already, this is going to be our gums. So I'm going to call this gums. And straight away, I'm going to select the faces and delete. Turn off soft select, don't need that yet. And delete half those. And also, we don't need these guys down here. Um, another thing I am going to do though, I'm going to grab. Let's go for the top view. gonna have hassle doing that okay I'm gonna turn off soft select let's make it all nice and soft because this will really help later and using this we are going to start creating the gums now here we go create polygon tool now this is really handy in that we can just draw shapes and this was a tool that was used to create models before you could just draw side outline just extrude enough but I don't know I always found that you know the temptation to add too many edges far too great I'm just gonna follow the inside pattern we just need to make a square there we go and just press F just pull this guy up a smidge just sits pretty on top of there and I'm also going to extrude it just to create R2. So here's the extrude button, just going to, not going to bother world accessing it, doesn't need it. And just pull it to form a tooth. So there we go, we have a tooth holder. Now the next part of this, whilst I just, yeah, mine's a bit itchy. That's a weird thing to say. Next part of this is to duplicate it. Now there's a very big reason why. Hello. Um, there's a very big reason why I use the polygon tool instead of just creating a cube. With the polygon tool, if I hold the rotate button down, you can see that its access point is dead center. So I can just rotate it all the way around and look at that. It, you know, it doesn't, it just rotates, but it keeps in line with the gums. So that is the trick. So I'm going to pop him there. And what we need to do, we need to create um, more duplicates. Now, very quickly. Now, because I am following the tutorial from Linda exactly, well, more or less exactly, um, you guys should definitely check it out. It's showing me how to create gums and teeth in a very easy way with a little hassle. Um, so you can see here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need nine more teeth. So with this tooth selected, I can then go to edit and 
and it was duplicate special click the little box next to it so we get the more options and in here we need to change the settings slightly so we want to put that down to one one full scale we don't want to change the translate on it but we do want to change the rotation and we can see that we're rotating by the Y axis, so X, Y, Z, and because I'm following the Linda tutorial, I know how to set this, so minus 18, one eight. So there we go, we also want it to be an instance, so that if by making it, by making a copy, it's just a copy, like if I clone myself, it would just be a copy, but an instance is very different in that um, if you manipulate the original, all the others will be affected as well so because I want to make a little changes to the tooth um, without having to do it into each individual one which is why I'm choosing this number of copies I knew I've forgotten something nine duplicate you can click click apply voila oh one too many times we have teeth they are quite they just stick out a little bit on the bit there so because of this instance, I can then get to the edge. Let me pull this one out a bit. Mm, Perfection. Let's focus on this guy. There you go. And it's really handy. You can make lovely patterns, I suppose, by this method. Well, there you go. The crown. <laughs> so, there we go. And hit three. So. Now you can see if we were to smooth this, it would make it into a ball. Now, that's not going to help. We need it to be a smooth square, but to help this maintain its shape, we need to add more edges. The more edges means I am that shape. Don't change me too much. So we're going to go into this edge loop. I'm going to bring this guy because I'm going to use this tool quite a few times. So edge loop. There's a beep. So I'm just gonna add a few edge loops. And you can see I'm just doing it at the sides. And just to demonstrate, you can see the difference already on how it's been affected. Press two, so you can see the outline. And you can see how much it's been affected. I'm wondering where to keep those. Nah, edge loop down here. See, big change it makes. So I'm quite happy with that. I don't need to add and then he said, I want to keep that nice and round. So yeah, those look more like teeth. I'm just gonna, gonna zoom around, just have a look. You could probably add more edge loops to add more um, detail to it, but it's gonna be a cartoon. Don't wanna add too much detail. So I'm gonna hit one, I'm gonna save. This is where I had the problem yesterday object mode I'm gonna hit that and I'm going to go to mesh and smooth and there we go there's my smooth tooth we can probably add I don't know if we can add detail to this let's have a look yes it does affect all of them so could use things like bring this in pinch it a bit that looks silly Pull it down a bit. There we go, that's kind of more like a tooth. You guys can manipulate one of them. No, you can't. So, we'd have to sort something out there later. But what I do want to do is change the gum slot. I want to actually make a gum line. So, with this selected, I'm going to hit mesh and smooth. And it's created different edges. So I'm gonna try and select the right ones. I don't want soft select, just want normal select. I'm going for each odd one, so the one in between the tooth. There's really a way as well, the one in the middle of the teeth, but I'm uh, doing this way. It'll have the same effect. Oop. And 
It might be different. This one is different than Linda tutorial. This one I'm making up as I go along, but I know the effect I want, and this will achieve it. So I've got those parts selected so I can pull them up. And I'm actually going to go into Attribute Editor, get rid of that, and then get to Lambert. I'll make this, there we go, that looks a lot better. Okay, let's go back to Lambert again. I want to be able to see my model. There we go. Okay, so. those in by the gums. Maybe we need to make the teeth fit in the center so that it will look. Let's see. Channel box. Moves down. I'll make this a bit more complicated than it needs to be, but so uh, so I've got those four boxes loaded, but I want to increase the area of how to click all the time. So I'm going to hold shift and go, I think it's greater than. And it just increases the area by one. Can I do it one more time? No, that's done. So now I can... Actually, let's turn on soft select. Bring it in a smidge. Let's see, has that done the trick? Well, you can't say they don't look like teeth. I could protrude this edge here just a bit more. Yeah, very thick gums. Don't even look thick. There we go. That looks like really good teeth. Ah, so I'm really pleased with that. So we've got this one. I'm going to go to modify detail by type history. I'll do the same with each individual tooth because we don't want to save too much data to detail by type history. So they're going to be. Should I do them individually? I'm going to go to Outliner and have a look. So. You see here, these, these teeth are all one thing, so. Hmm. Probably best to just put them in the gums. So with them selected like so, I'm going to hold my middle mouse button and just simply drag them and put them into the gums. So now, they're parented together. Yay. So these will be my teeth. I can still click on them individually, but I can click on the gums as well. Yay. That's pretty cool. Um, so now, I've just got to put it back in my model. So I'm going to bring up my model, I'm going to bring up the teeth, and as you can see the teeth are just ever so too big. So I'm just going to scale them down a bit. Try and get it to fit in the mouth. I like teeth, I don't have to make them a bit thinner. So I can zoom in. Uh, Lower them a smidge. Yeah, I think it's a little too. Okay, that looks like teeth. I'm quite happy with the position. Might actually. Before I do anything, I need to duplicate these guys so that they I can make new teeth. So I'm gonna call this one uh, instead of gums. Bottom. Uh, 
some row. And control D to duplicate. So we've got bottom row two, but this time we're gonna flip it round. Oh, actually turn that. Sorry, my video went a bit funny because I've been pressing ones and such. Uh, turn this one 180 degrees and ah, 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 we have teeth. Now, always in animation, remember the top row never moves. It's the top row that stays static. It's your lips that uh, morph around it. It's the bottom one because it's hinged on the jaw that changes. So, uh, should I have a bit of a overbite? Just, yeah. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Might move these up a bit. Um, one thing I will do is rotate these guys, and I'm going to keep the him the axis point where it is. I'm not going to change that because if we look at how that moves. That does the job actually. I'm going to move this up a smidge. Thank you. A weird with teeth. And then there we go. We have teeth. Ah, awesome. So yeah, quite happy with that. Oh, one thing. I'm gonna change the belt's bottom row. This needs to be top row. Awesome. So finally, we're just going to create the tongue because my character does have a tongue. Now, this is going to be super easy. This one is going to make a cube. And I'm just going to adjust its numbers slightly here. So, depth I'll do to five. Uh, height. Sorry, I keep pressing the wrong buttons here so there we go actually i'll do that to i won't do that. <laughs> i'll do that to two there we go so that looks more it's a potential to bring up tongue so we're going to create subdivisions more we're going to create one down the middle so wrong with one that's there we go i've got one for there in depth i'm just going to add four four looks good must make noises with these. Uh, just turn on soft select, and already that <laughs> looks tan like. So, with that selected, I'm gonna go into. Actually, I'm just gonna get the edge here. Turn off soft select, and I'm just gonna. Oop. No, I don't want it all the way around. Very well. I'm just pull it down a bit, and bring this one. Bit forward. I think I'll just bring these in a bit. To my soft select, we see it looks more like a tongue. Yay. I bring this one in a bit more. I bring you in a bit. really weird at this angle. So, select the model. We're gonna hit mesh, smooth. Now we have tongue. I might pull up some vertices. doing is kind of pushing things around just to 
It's a bit more... Yeah, that looks alright. Really happy with that. At a tongue, I am most happy. Okay, so... Also, I can spell it. Uh, one thing I might do is change his access point. Can we go into the four views? Just scroll around and just try and get this. So we're kind of using the four views. Okay, it's not... Change the access point, so I'm gonna press insert and just hold V and try and again snap. There we go. Press it again, so then it's just a case of rotating. I'll probably do some set divisions with this guy. I'll I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna animate it, but I will. Oh, that's a very thin tongue. Make it a bit wider. And that's it. Now to finish this model off, I'm gonna unlock it. And we're gonna duplicate it. Also gonna save. I'm going to keep saving. Hopefully mirror geometry will work this time. If not, I will speed things up and just do it the old fashioned way. So Crush your fingers. So we're in polygons, mesh, where are you? I can imagine like people yelling, like kids going, it's over there, <laughs> behind you. There it is. Mirror geometry, just gonna click a little box. Um, we are in the plus X, we want to be minus. So I'm gonna put minus, apply, yes, victory. I didn't want to do that again. There we go. Oh, fantastic. Um, most, ah, a horrible edge I told you about before. So I'm gonna select that. And also we got most irregular. That'll be an easy fix. It'll just be a case of maybe deleting those edges and just cutting some more in there and just the lip up a bit so I might do that now um, make a decision and be the scale for the doctor there we go uh, oh, I want to can I delete no Get the select tool and try and select the edges I do not want. So I don't want you. You see, it's, we're getting there. So this little guy here that's a bothersome. So I'm gonna get the cut again and just do that. Nope. And check the vertices just to see if we got any extras. No, that looks good. Just have to. <laughs> oh man, that's so bad. Try have this urge to fix it immediately. Press F, just center it, and maybe that high up, dear. Don't think you're that high up, darling. Absolutely love, absolutely fabulous. Fantastic TV series that well. I say fantastic, I enjoyed it, it was fun. There we go. That's a bit better. We can always tweak things up. Oh no, he's done the exact same thing here. 
So, well, you saw how I fixed it, so if you notice issues like that happening with yours, you know how to fix it yourself, so I'll probably do that. I'll probably do the end of this video, fix that lip up a bit. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you again how to s sort out that edge. So I'm going to norms, let's see, will soften edge help? Kind of does. It does. And there we go, we added the detail, we have a very, very scary head. I am going to duplicate the eye, that's the only thing that needs duplicating. And I'm going to fix up that spot, that lip there. And next time we're going to be focusing a bit on the body, and at the square boobage. Um, but as you can see how easy it is to make things like teeth and things and ears and get the eyes working. Um, so yeah, next time we're going to do the body, then we're going to do hair, and the next bit will be clothes, and then the fun bit of painting. Ah, uh, UVs, I don't like you at all. So, still quite a lot to do, but we're getting there, so catch you next time. And remember, if you enjoy these, subscribe, so you can be the first to know when the next ones come. Um, also, anything you want me to cover, any questions, just pop it in the comments as usual.